Hi, I'm Andrew Moore Crispin, and welcome back to How Do I Root the Nook Color to Run Honeycomb, aka Android 3.0, on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're going to take a look at how to get Honeycomb running on your Nook Color, and in this episode specifically, we're using Windows to install the Android Market and Google Apps to our Nook Color running Honeycomb. First, we'll need to grab the Android Software Developer Kit from bscotch.tv slash SDK, and the Java SDK, which you can grab from bscotch.tv slash Java SDK. Install the Android SDK and go through the update process. Deselect everything except Android SDK platform tools and hit install. We need to add a directory to our path. To do that, right click on my computer or computer. Select properties and choose advanced system settings. Click the environment variables button under the advanced tab. Find path in the system variables list and edit it to include semicolon c colon backslash Android-SDK-Windows backslash platform-tools backslash ADB. Be sure not to remove anything at all from the path that's already there. Just add the part that we just mentioned. Next, we need to install a driver so that our computer recognizes the Nook color when it's plugged in. This will allow us to push packages onto the Nook. Open the Android SDK again and select Available Packages. Expand the list for third-party add-ons and then expand Google Inc. Look for Google USB Driver Package and select it. Click Install Selected. In the window that appears, select Accept and Install. Now, plug in the Nook Color booted into Honeycomb. You'll want to grab Honey G Apps version 2 from bscotch.tv slash apps. Unzip the archive and double click Honey G App Install. The market, maps, and other Google apps and services will be pushed to your Nook Color. It's as easy as that. For more episodes in this series and for full step-by-step -step show notes on the rooting process, visit butterscotch.com.